a little follow-up video um, to the other video I did on uh, on this microscope. I, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but anyway. Uh, in the last video, I added this <laughs> this uh, light to it. Um, you can see a little switch just sitting there under the light, and you can know it just runs off a nine volt battery. Very simple. Just suspended with some wire. It's crude, but it does work. The real thing, the real challenge, um, actually turns out to be mounting a camera to the thing. So this is what I have been sort of uh, figuring out. And I think I've come to a decent uh, compromise here, or a solution. Uh, it's not ideal maybe, but it, it, it seems to work. Really, uh, what ended up fix saving the day this is just uh, a short section of a uh, you know this foam pipe insulation, which really just happened to be close enough in inner diameter. This is uh, to this tubing, the eyepiece tube, um, that I could get it around there, and then with the uh, through the magic of hot glue, um, get it to to stay. Uh, in place and then using a this uh, is the back end of a of a discarded or, or, or what would probably would otherwise be discarded lens that I uh, opened up one day and could never figure out how to put it back together after that but uh, anyway it wasn't an expensive lens thankfully but uh, I still have all the parts and this part is basically the um, the locking mechanism that fits it's a this is a Konica adapter to Sony you know to this particular the A5000 camera and uh, so this piece is hot glued to this foam and then of course it snaps in to the adapter so that the camera is hanging off and then it's a little tricky because you know it's not a perfect alignment down into the through this you really kinda it seems I'm liking this so far that's pretty decent and the idea is just to be able to at times if if necessary or if I deem it's you know worth the value of adding this to a video is get a nice look uh, at something in a way that we I can't get otherwise I think we're looking at the threads right now on this uh, this little switch and uh, that's not bad. I mean, you know, the lighting is the trick, right? So, you know, as I move the lighting around, you see what happens here, and it's 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 pivotal. So this is not really the best, but it's better than nothing for the moment. I'll come up with something better, I hope, at some point in time. But uh, yeah, so I thought that was something anyway kind of happy I mean it, it, it holds the camera in place and I'm, I'm getting a nice image so that that pleases me uh, to see and uh, you know I mean I know that I could go out and buy well no here's the thing I mean you can go out for a modern microscope you can buy uh, basically a webcam in a sense that's just goes down into the tube um, but the diameter of the tube is everything, and this is older, and this is smaller. It's only about, I think it's 19 on the outside, 19 millimeters. And I couldn't find anything that, uh, well, here. It's, yeah, I can stay in. So, okay, we'll go inner diameter. I'll just, these are just, these are not high precision, this is not a high precision tool, but it, it, it gets us close enough for the kind, kind of thing, kind of thing I'm doing. Anyway, um... No, actually, I'm I'm wrong. It's actually t 23, according to this on the inside. So I don't know. Maybe 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 there's something out there that would fit this at 23. I don't recall. I feel like they were often 23 or 24. The ones that I saw were were bigger. But anyway, they're expensive, and the performance on them is not particularly uh, amazing. This camera, you know, to be honest, blows pretty much all of them away and and the good ones the ones that even get close to this are probably more than I paid for this camera 
you know, you start getting into the two, three hundred dollar range for something that's fairly uh, mundane in terms of image acquisition quality and or resolution. And I mean, this camera, I think, uh, is far superior. So I like my solution better. <laughs> it may not be quite as. It's pretty good. Most of the image, like, is uh, you, you know, there's a re obviously it's a circular profile that coming up. You know, that's the image, and you can kind of see it's almost like vignetting. There's a bit of a corner thing. Um, but you really have to move the light around to catch that But it's really not bad and for anything I'm gonna do with it. Who cares? Honestly, it's close enough. It gets gets the uh, gets the point across and yeah. Anywho, that's her. That's uh, just a quick one and uh, yeah, so You know if you if you want to do this thing it, sometimes you just gotta <laughs> Cobble together what you've got and it can work. I guess is the point and uh, yeah Thanks for watching. Uh, bye for now.